Morning guys, welcome to today's video. Uh, we're in the van, it's early morning, and we are heading off to Brands Hatch for the day. We've got motorcycles loaded up, and it smells like a racetrack in here already. So, uh, weather's looking good, really looking forward to the day. Uh, a bit apprehensive, it's the first time I've been out on track in about uh, what, seven years, uh, and it's the first time I've taken this bike out, which is far, far beyond my own riding capability. But we're just going to take it slow. We're as prepared as we can be for the day and have some fun. So we'll check in with you guys throughout the day. See you soon. Ta-ta. guys first session done it was uh it was great fun to get back out there uh what can i say it's just nice to be back out on track dry weather looks fantastic super super busy today so lots of different level of riders out there um the bike was absolutely amazing uh the brakes on it the power from it just taking it nice and easy getting back into it getting relaxed on the bike and uh just having fun really so no gopro footage from that first session but hopefully we'll switch it on in the next few and try and get some onboard footage for you guys. See you soon. Second session done then guys, uh, even more fun this time. Unfortunately, about halfway through the session, the back part of the circuit started raining. So we had two or three corners where it was getting quite damp. So just took it nice and steady around those corners. <laughs> footage from there but to be honest I'm still feeding my way into it getting used to the bike performance of the bikes incredible so there's so much grip and potential there I just need to familiarize myself with uh, getting back on track and getting back into it I have to say the standard of riding today so far touch wood has been really good guys are behaving themselves um, careful sensible overtakes which is nice to see and Although it can be quite intimidating, a total mixture of abilities and bikes here. There's two strokes, there's super jukes, there's sports bikes, there's all sorts here. Road, lots and lots of road bikes today. So don't be put off or intimidated by coming to start a track day. It's great fun riding your motorbike fast. So a little sit rep guys, it's been quite a busy day. Um, session before lunch, third session of the day. It was a really good session. No rain, no red flags. Started to really get into it. Feel the bike, build some confidence in the bike. Remember where the track goes. Um, build up a, bit, a little bit of speed. We then stopped for lunch. We actually had to have a, a brief in because although there has been some good, some good riding out there, safe riding today, there's also been a lot of red flags session so they've um they had to give us all the talking to at lunchtime and basically say calm down a little bit we're all here to have fun we're not in a bsb race so first session out after lunch down to 15 minutes for the afternoon sessions two laps in red flag so a lot of expensive machines have been broken today but the last session we've just been out in now which is the second session of the afternoon that was really good starting to get there now we're starting to build that confidence in the bike um forks seem to be 
bottom, not bottom, bottoming out, but using all of the travel. So we put a couple of turns of preload and a couple of clicks of compression on the front end. And we'll see now what it goes to. These are the sort of things you have to adjust as you go through the day, the same with your tire pressures. I've also adjusted the chain slightly over lunch because uh, it was a new chain and it's stretched slightly where, where it was a new chain. So just did a quick once over the bike to make sure it was all good, which it is. One session left. We're going to uh, try and touch wood, make it home in one piece, not push too hard and try and get some onboard footage for you. See you soon.
So guys, here we are, back in the workshop. Uh, we've made it home. I've uh, started unpacking. I got myself a nice beer to sit down with. I just thought I'd give you some thoughts on the day. Um, fantastic day. I went with three other friends. One lad I used to do quite a few track days with. The other two, one of them's never been on out on track before. One of them has been once and fell off. So it was all four of us. We all made it out alive. Nobody had any accidents or incidents, which is fantastic. We all had a mega time, which is great. The weather was fantastic. And I apologize, I wanted to try and take you for a walk up and down the pit lane today and show you around what was going on. But first time back on track for a long time, there was a lot of things going on. I had some people come and see me. So unfortunately I didn't manage to do that, but I have tried to give you a little bit of feedback after each session. And I just want to run through the thoughts on the day, really. So the riding was the riding etiquette between riders was really good. There was no real close shaves. The only thing was there was a lot of people pushing a bit too hard and, and creating red flags all day long, which um, when you're only doing 15 minute sessions, if you get a red flag two laps in five minutes into the session, by the time they've cleared it up, your whole session's over with. So we were given a warning about that at lunchtime, but that continued after lunch as well. Um, the last session of the day, normally a session that people don't go if they've had a good day and not fallen off, they'll leave the last session as they're fatigued and tired from the day. But because of the red flags today, we stayed and done that, and it was actually the best session of the day. It was, the track was a bit quieter, there was no red flags at all, the weather was perfect, and uh, yeah, a lovely way to round the day off. Um, with regards to the bike, the bike was absolutely faultless all day. I adjusted the chain tension and played around with a few of the suspension settings, but to be honest, it feels quite soft looking at the tire wear on it. So we might have to look into that and maybe um, maybe get the front forks resprung. We'll have to see what sort of weight springs are in there. The quick shifter, auto blipper, slipper clutch combination is an absolute delight on track compared to what I've ridden out there before. It's so easy to just into the corners on the brakes, banging it down the gears. And yeah, what a machine, what, what a machine. Very, very fast, far more capable than I am. Um, my own performance, to be honest, I took quite a long time to get back into it. And I've just felt myself being very, very stiff on the bike all day. Um, I couldn't relax on the bars because it's a, a long time since I've done it in a new experience, new motorcycle. Um, and I was trying to improve my trail braking into corners today, focus on that one area. So next time out, I think I need to get back into leaning off the bike a bit more to get a bit more lean angle and just trying to keep that core tight on the bike and relax your arms so that you can steer the motorcycle properly. But yeah, a fantastic day and uh, I can't wait to go out and do it again. There is one unfortunate episode that did happen today. And that is that our friend Gerard didn't make it out alive. Unfortunately, he got caught stealing some V-Power out of another garage. And uh, there was some tears spilt today. So he needs to learn his lesson. If not, he's not coming again. So to wrap this up, cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Look after yourself and get yourself out on track. It's fabulous fun. Ta-ta. So guys, morning after the day before, a um, couple of things I forgot to mention yesterday. So I just thought I'd do a quick video whilst I'm unloading the bike because obviously I'm too lazy to have done it last night. Um, I'm very physically unfit at the minute. It's a lot harder than what I remember it being. But also I didn't really give you an overview of the day. So what happens is you turn up, unload the, the equipment and the gear. Uh, this particular day was with no limits as a provider. Unload all your equipment, go and sign on. You get a wristband for the group that you signed on into. You then have to go and get the bike noise tested and make sure it passes the noise test. Yesterday was 101 decibel static, which we went through without the baffles, which is good. Um, then you have to attend a rider's briefing in the pit lane before the day starts, and then you begin your sessions throughout the day. Yesterday there was uh, tea and coffee facilities and food available throughout the day there was tire changing and spares equipment available to buy throughout the day 
um, photography was there but there was no real suspension set up because the chap who normally does it was actually helping to run the day yesterday as they were a bit short staffed but normally there is somebody there that can assist with suspension setup. There was also instruction available, but with over 200 riders there yesterday, um, and there's only three instructors, it was quite limited to try and get any space of an instructor. So as, as I'd always advise, if you're really serious about getting instruction, which is probably the best money you can spend on any upgrades for a bike, is to pre-book it and pre-book it on a one-to-one -one basis for the whole day. Yes, it's expensive, but not compared to what you get out of it and how it's going to improve your riding going forward. So, yeah, just thought I'd give you a quick update on some few bits that I forgot to put in yesterday.